Hello CyberG, my name is UBG. Welcome to Clipmine. Have you noticed that the Lulu is blowing up all over social media lately? It's literally everywhere you scroll. The Lulu is a trending term in Gen Z slang, centered around wishful thinking and belief that what you desire can happen. So, let's make things clear. Wishful thinking is not the same as delusion. According to DSM-5, a delusion is a fixed false belief that is resistant to change despite contradictory evidence. It is characterized by their implausibility and may be bizarre or non-bizarre. On the other hand, the Lulu is not defined in the DSM-5 or any formal psychological diagnostic manual. It doesn't involve fixed false beliefs, but rather reflects optimism without the persistence of false convictions. Did you know that DSM-5 classifies several types of delusional disorders from bizarre beliefs to extraordinary fantasies? In this video, we will feed your curiosity by unpacking the details of several types of delusional disorders. But before we jump into that, if you are new to this channel and you are interested to promoting the awareness about mental health, Please consider to subscribe our channel and be part of us. Now let's get into the topic. Erotomania type Erotomania is a subtype of delusional disorder. Within this frame, individuals with erotomania delusion believe that someone, usually of higher social status, is in love with them despite the absence of evidence and often in the face of contrary evidence they maintain this false belief it's basically a love story that exists only in their mind despite any proof logic saying otherwise i explore the signs of erythromania in more detail in another video if you're interested Feel free to take a look by clicking the link in the description box. Grandiose type This category becomes apparent when someone firmly believes they possess an extraordinary yet unrecognized talent or ability. Grandiose delusions can manifest in various ways such as Delusions of celestial importance, as if they firmly believe they are a divine messenger that hold a special connection with celestial beings. Delusions of wealth and power. Delusions of exceptional knowledge. It's like someone who firmly believes they possess an extraordinary intelligence that far separating the knowledge of experts in various fields despite non-existence of formal education in the areas they claim expertise. Delusions of physical invisibility Those people believe that they are impervious to harm and immune to the constraints of mortality. Delusions of romantic prowess they convince they are a magnet for love and admiration, and interpreting everyday interactions as evidence of romantic interest that becomes a confirmation of their irresistible charm. Jealous type We have all experienced a twinge of jealousy when our partner gets close to someone else, but jealousy delusions Take this to a whole new level. It's a type of delusional disorder that involves with distorted reality, where individuals firmly believe in imagined betrayals or their partner is unfaithful. In another video, I delve into the indicators of pathological jealousy. If you're interested, feel free to take a look 
by clicking the link in the description box. Persecutory type Persecutory delusions involve individuals who firmly believe they are being targeted, harassed, or conspired against by others. These delusions often persist in the absence of any concrete evidence and can lead to impairment in daily functioning. At first glance, persecutory delusions may seem similar to paranoia because both characterized by suspicion and mistrust. While paranoia may encompass a range of unfounded fear and suspicions, it's a state of heightened vigilance, and not all paranoia is clear to the level of delusional thinking. For a detailed examination of paranoid personality disorder, you can check a separate video. Feel free to take a look by clicking the link in the description box. Somatic type It applies specifically when the primary focus of delusion is on bodily functions or sensations. People who experience somatic delusions may firmly hold convictions about abnormalities in their bodies, even unverified of evidence. Examples of somatic delusions may include the unshakable belief in the presence of parasites beneath the skin, the conviction that severe internal organ malfunctions without medical substantiation, or the irrational fear of a severe non-existent illness. Mixed type Mixed type delusions represent when where no single delusional theme takes precedence. People who experience mixed type delusions show a complex interplay of various delusional beliefs. For example, person who experience persecutory erotomania fusion firmly believes a mysterious group of people is conspiring to harm and kidnap them because of a specific member of this group is deeply in love with them and following their every move. Cybergy, those were sick types of delusional disorders. To be diagnosed with delusional disorder, the symptoms should persist for at least one month and must be diagnosed by a medical professional. This video content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. If you or someone you know is struggling with any of these subtypes of delusions, please don't be hesitant to reach out professional help. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next topics. Bye-bye.